It's an exciting afternoon. We've got a little history in the WFAA studio. Earlier, we talked about all four FIFA Women's World Cup trophies that are housed at the National Soccer Hall of Fame in Frisco going on tour. If you didn't know, yes, the National Soccer Hall of Fame is here in North Texas. Who better to talk about this than Jorn Buholz, the executive director of the National Soccer Hall of Fame. Great to see you. Thanks for coming in this afternoon. Thanks for having me in. And thanks for waiting patiently. Yeah, He's no been problem. sitting over here waiting while we got a little breaking <laughs> news to take care of. Okay, so tell us about what we have here and the exciting news that it's going on tour. Yeah, so this here is the 2019 Women's World Cup that they won just a short four years ago. Very cool. And like was mentioned, all four of them live up at the National Soccer Hall of Fame, yeah. but occasionally they go out for fans to see them. And that's what's happening. That's that's exactly right. So we are taking these to San Jose, California, mm -hmm. uh, leaving tomorrow. Uh, they'll be at the women's send off game, their last match here on in the United States before they go to the World Cup to hopefully bring us back a fifth one. And, you know, it's really kind of fascinating. I mean, these things, we can't ship them. They need to be carry on luggage. Wow. So we have four people coming to the Hall of Fame, actually three others. I'm one of them uh, to come and pick them up tomorrow and, wow. and, and fly them to San Jose. What's it like traveling with them? It ca can't be easy. It, it, it isn't. Uh, you know, <laughs> we, we put them in pretty discreet boxes so people don't okay. know what they are. Sure. The challenge is, is the second we go through TSA, they yeah. look at it and go, what in the heck is that thing? <laughs> right. So I've got the white gloves in my pocket. We wow. have to take them out, wow. uh, you know, and kind of show them the TSA agents. It's kind of fun because it's a little bit of a surprise of and delight for other people around. Yeah. And without question, as soon as I put it back in and get through TSA, some soccer fan chases me down and oh, wants a photo and with they, it. they want so, a selfie. Yep, of course they, they do. do. And you have the white gloves on. I asked you a few minutes ago, how much does this thing weigh? You handed one to me and I did pick it up. These are heavy. They are pretty heavy. Yeah, I mean, they are solid gold, so. They're beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so tell folks, if they're not going out to San Jose to the match, they can't see it in person, Tell us about the National Soccer Hall of Fame because people can come see them up there. Yeah, absolutely. Built into Toyota Stadium right mm -hmm. up there in Frisco where FC Dallas plays is the National Soccer Hall of Fame that's been open since 2018. Yep. Uh, really a fascinating building. You know, not only do we have over 400 artifacts that tell the history of the game in this country, uh, but we're also very digital. We've got virtual reality. We've got gesture Fun technology. Place. We use facial recognition inside of the building. So when you come in, we take your photo. We ask you a few questions about yourself. The AVs inside then customize themselves to you and give you information that we think is most interesting to you. And at the end of the day, uh, it's the most personalized experience in sports because no two people have the same experience inside the building. So awesome. And so much about women's sports there too. It's Absolutely. Very it is men and women's soccer. Absolutely. All right. Well, travel safe, we most will. definitely. And if anybody from TSA stops you, you know, just, I guess, go through the rigmarole that you always go through. Have those white gloves ready, right? They'll be in my pockets. <laughs> very good. All right. Jordan Buholz, we appreciate it. Like I said, safe travels when you head out to California. Thank you.